One of the greatest challenges of our time is to develop an affordable, reliable supply of electricity that doesn't damage the world we live in. We look to a future where renewable technologies are sufficiently developed to meet all our energy demands. But what happens when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing? A hydrogen economy enables emissions-free power to be generated on demand. It works like this. At times when renewables are producing excess electricity, the surplus can be used to produce a store of hydrogen. When renewable supply can't meet demand, the stored hydrogen can then be used as an alternative fuel. As the most efficient method for converting hydrogen to electricity, alkaline fuel cell technology will underwrite a renewable energy-based future. But renewable technology still requires significant development and the clock is ticking. It is now widely feared that we are heading towards a tipping point where runaway processes will cause the Earth's climate to change dramatically with catastrophic results. Climate change, fuel poverty, oil conflict and the rapid depletion of fossil fuels highlight the critical importance of new energy solutions. For the moment, we are still reliant on fossil fuels but the fuel cell has the potential to greatly increase the efficiency of how we use them. Introducing the technology will also reduce the amount of greenhouse gases we produce, especially when partnered with carbon capture and storage. Used as a transitional technology, the fuel cell will enable a continued affordable supply of electricity with considerably reduced environmental impacts. So what exactly is a fuel cell? An alkaline fuel cell chemically converts hydrogen and oxygen from the air into clean electrical energy. The only byproducts are ultra pure water and heat, both of which have their own value. The alkaline fuel cell was first demonstrated in the 19th century by Sir William Grove and was one of the earliest means for generating a steady supply of electricity. They have been used on manned US space missions, delivering an unwavering supply of current as well as a useful byproduct in space, clean drinking water. But until now, fuel cells have been deemed too large, too heavy and too expensive to be considered commercially viable. AFC Energy are changing all that. Unlike similar technologies, the AFC fuel cell does not use precious metals like platinum, which are not only extremely costly, but a finite resource. This fuel cell operates at a low temperature, reducing the cost of component parts and making it easier to maintain. The beauty of AFC's technology lies in its simplicity. It is low cost, simple to assemble, easy to maintain and quickly pays for itself. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, meaning a wealth of opportunities and markets for AFC's technology. The chlorine industry, for example, produces one and a half million tonnes of hydrogen every year as a byproduct, whilst consuming 1% of the world's electricity. This makes it an ideal partner for the fuel cell, with both a readily available supply of hydrogen and an on-site demand for the electricity produced. Globally, the surplus hydrogen from the chlorine industry could support 3,000 megawatts of generating capacity. AFC Energy has entered into agreements with two of Europe's largest chlorine producers, Axa Nobel and Ineos. Tests at Axa Nobel have already demonstrated that the technology can operate with industrially produced hydrogen. And the chlorine industry is only the beginning of what's possible with fuel cell technology. 60 million tonnes of carbon-based waste are generated in the UK every year equating to 15,000 megawatts of electricity. Municipal waste energy plants take ordinary household rubbish, gasify it and convert it into electrical power. Converting the gas into hydrogen and putting it through a fuel cell increases the overall output efficiency by 50%. In 2009, AFC Energy entered into an agreement with Waste Tetricity to supply fuel cells for the conversion of municipal waste into energy. A quarter of UK carbon emissions result from burning coal. 
changing the way we use this fuel would enable immediate and significant reductions. Coal can be gasified to produce hydrogen and carbon dioxide. The hydrogen can then be used as a clean fuel source, whilst the carbon dioxide is captured and stored. Passing the hydrogen through the fuel cell, rather than burning it in a steam cycle turbine, increases the output efficiency from around 30% to greater than 50%. Gasifying coal underground avoids the damaging effects of traditional mining, and once a coal seam is cleared, provides the perfect underground chamber to store the captured carbon dioxide. By allowing the exploitation of previously uneconomical coal sites, underground coal gasification, or UCG, would increase the recoverable coal reserves in the US by four times and give access in the UK to an extra 17 billion tonnes. Converting the gas into electricity using the fuel cell gives an electrical efficiency of greater than 60% with a cost per kilowatt of less than 4p. AFC has signed an agreement with Link Energy, Australia's leader in clean coal technology, and UK-based B9 Coal to integrate the fuel cell system into Link's global UCG projects. AFC Energy has made substantial strides over the last six months and has achieved significant headway in commercialising the system and delivering on partner expectations. They have further developed their alpha system to increase the volumetric density of the fuel cell modules, whilst reducing the complexity, component count and cost. The simplified beta cartridges can be combined in either vertical or horizontal configurations, creating a truly scalable system capable of generating anything from 50 kilowatts to multi-megawatts. AFC are pioneering a unique venture in hydrogen to electricity generation, a super green power station. The project is being developed using the expertise of world leaders in energy generation, hydrogen supply and project management. Supergreen's modular, on-demand technology will be fully scalable, providing power for a wide range of applications from standalone buildings to industrial parks. Fuel cell cartridges can be removed, refurbished and replaced whilst the station is still running, and most component parts can also be recycled. Operating at around 60% electrical efficiency, Supergreen will be twice as efficient as traditional fossil fuel power stations. Supergreen will not use combustion and therefore will produce no carbon or other harmful emissions, placing it amongst the cleanest generators of electricity in the world. To sum up, it is crucial that we find new and cleaner methods of meeting our ever-growing energy demands. The alkaline fuel cell is the most efficient system for converting fuel into electricity. AFC Energy have the only commercially viable alkaline fuel cell technology and boast world-leading partners. There are huge opportunities for introducing this unparalleled technology, increasing fuel efficiency and reducing the amount of greenhouse gases we produce. In a low-carbon future, AFC's fuel cell will underwrite renewable energy and play a crucial part in providing a clean, continuous and affordable supply of electricity for generations to come. In short, AFC Energy is the power of the future.